A few years ago, I cycled from Tillamook, Oregon to San Francisco, California down the Pacific Coast Highway with seven high school friends. Let's see, there was Josh, Kalu, Lance, Stephanie, Joel, Marshall, and Jeremiah. Also, there was Jamie. He's from Ireland. He wasn't a high school friend. We actually met him on the trip and he became part of the family. Anyways, Lance and I started in St. Louis and met the rest of the group at Joel's house in Portland. We spent the next two days hanging out, seeing the city, and testing out our bikes. We loaded the bikes onto the truck and drove to Tillamook where we set up camp. We took off the next morning and I gotta say, I was blown away by the beauty of the West Coast. Oceans, trees, endless skies. If you're a cyclist in the US, I highly recommend you make it out here someday. It is gorgeous. This trip was different than my other tours. One major difference was camping. I'm used to free camping whenever, wherever I can, but on the west coast we stayed at official campsites, and although I'm not used to paying money to camp, it ended up being an awesome experience. I got a chance to meet cyclists from around the USA and the world. Another difference was the food. Normally on a solo tour, I gotta fend for myself, which for me means eating out of gas stations and dollar stores. Well that's not how it went down on this trip. On the west coast, Marshall introduced us to his food system. Here's how it worked. Instead of everyone buying and making their own dinner, we formed two-person teams, and every night one team would cook for the whole group. This meant that you only had to make dinner once or twice a week. Craft beer, hummus wraps, soups, couscous, stews, spaghetti, fine drinks, wine inside a melon because why not, and of course PBR. Homemade vegetarian dinners every night. It was great. So shout out to my man Marshall for that brilliant idea. But food and accommodation aside, the best part of this trip was, without a doubt, my friends. We cycled through the redwoods together, we hung out on the beach, we ate like a family, we watched sunsets as a group. I even got to see Jamie eat a s'more for the first time in his life. These are moments I'll never forget. Now I'll continue to ride solo on the majority of my bike trips because that's what I love to do. But I'll always look back at this trip and remember these incredible moments with these wonderful people. You guys, the Pacific Coast is gorgeous. I speak for myself when I say that living in the city has a way of helping me forget that outside of these concrete jungles exists all kinds of beauty and adventure. And so I hope everyone gets a chance to experience a place like the West Coast. And if you've got company with you, all the better. And so to everyone out there, safe travels to you all. Much love and hopefully I'll see you on the road.